Hello everybody and welcome to another video for Python example 9. In this video, I'm going to make a movie out of pictures using CV2 or OpenCV. This is really nice and cool one. I have a couple of pictures in this directory and I'm going to write a code that take this picture from this directory, put them next to each other and have them shown for each picture for like 10 to 20 seconds whatever I, we need then make a video out of it now let's start let me save this with example 9 python so let's import cv2 Remember, uh, you guys need to have pip install open cv python. So, if you don't know how to do pip install, you go to example one, which is my first video, or there I explain how easily you can install any package you need. Then we need to import OS and from OS.path import this file and join. Okay, we are ready. Let's define a function. Our function is convert pictures, convert pictures to video. The our input is path in then path out and frame per second and also it's time time is for how long each picture we want to be shown uh, in the video so let's add a comment this function Converts the convert image to video. Okay, frame array. So we want the one empty list, and we want to see the fi uh, we want files inside that directory f for f in os list directory of path in path in Everything is correct. And then if if this file should pass in and F. So what I'm doing here, I'm saying that uh, go to that directory list the uh, files inside it list the names of the file inside it and if those files as uh, those folders everything is fine then put in the list as a file all right now we needed for loop for i in range and solve 
files, length of file, basically we are saying uh, how many pictures uh, inside the directory. And then file name is paths in plus files i. So I'm putting for each picture, I'm putting the directory for that picture. Then is uh, the next step is reading file emails or files. Image cv2 dot image read file name okay you got this and then the, let me see everything is cool correct it's good file name yes so we want height width and layers equal to image dot image dot shape something is going wrong yes Uh, no, it's right. And then you want the size of each picture with. Remember, if your pictures all are in the same size, then you are good. But if you are not in the same size, you have to do one thing. You have to come here and uh, do your image resize your image how you resize your image is like I'm G equal to C to that resize IMG and put the size you want like 14 100 and, and then remember if you have like pictures with different sizes you're gonna make sure when you're resizing them you have the height width ratio always the same for each picture otherwise it's gonna like shrink or scratch and uh, stretch and uh, everything so in case your pictures are not in the same size if are same size so you are good just Keeping what I'm doing right here. Okay, then uh, you need another for loop for a k in range in order to say how much time uh, each uh, picture to be shown. So frame that array. Then that happen image. So did you did you get what I'm doing here? So I, I'm saying like for twenty times whatever the time is, you write the same image. So each time when it's writing the image means one second. If you have like twenty image so means 20 second 20 repetition of one image so it's gonna 20 second of the show for that image now so we are here out is uh, you're gonna write to the video the video writer 
half pass in or no we want pass out pass out right and then we want cv2 dot video writer underline if we are saying which type of uh, video we want we want what mp4 and then fps and the next one frame per second this is one and then size of the pictures let me see if everything looks okay yeah. and then we need another for loop writing frame array frame array i to the video and then out the I believe that was it. Let me check one more time everything. Oh uh, yeah, I have one here left. Then so sounds good. Let's add so let's do one example over here. directory so I'm gonna put my directory here mm. this is my directory remember you need to ha change this to slash if you put control F you select the dashes and then alt enter you choose all of them then you can delete them all add so remember to do that it's so good in VS code then we want path in it's gonna be directory plus one slash and then pass out pass out is pass in plus the name of video you want I am like naming it as a video example 9 dot EVI right I haven't add frame per second yet I haven't time and at time yet oh I did that so this is the 
um, the duration of each picture in the video. And then this guy here. Convert picture to video, path in, path out. Right? It should be it. Let me run it and I have a folder here. Run it. No. So let's check what's the problem. Yeah. I believe okay. So now it should work. Yeah. Run it. Wait for it. Okay. We got something here. It's running, it's running. Still is running. Okay, done. Let's see what we got. Here, that's the movie, and then later we will learn how to add music to it. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and please do not forget to subscribe. Every day, one example. Have a good day. Bye-bye.